Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to connect your new Blink Mini uh, to your existing Blink account. Now I made another video that teaches you how to create an account with Blink. This is just a, a video that shows how to add additional cameras to an existing account. Uh, if you haven't uh, created an account with Blink yet, if this is your very first camera, then you need to watch my other video first. Okay, so let's start uh, connecting this. Uh, the, this is a wired camera. Uh, the, you know, they make different types of cameras, wireless and wired. This is a wired one, and uh, it comes with two cameras, two power supplies, and two cables and bases. So that's a... Uh, setup. I'm only going to be connecting one right now to teach you how to do it. So you have to take it out of the box, take one power supply and one USB cable. These are the three things you need to be taking out of the box. Now what you need to do, you need to make sure you're in the same Wi-Fi network as your Blink system. You cannot be in two different Wi-Fi networks. So first I'm going to make sure I'm in the same Wi-Fi network. And the blinks are in 2.4 gigahertz. That's what I'm going to go on the 2.4 gigahertz. Now that I'm in the same Wi-Fi network, I open my Blink app. Let me get my face. Try. Okay, there it is. And by the way, uh, Blink claims that the wireless camera, uh, battery powered cameras battery will work for two years uh, well that's a joke it doesn't uh, I installed this uh, camera uh, right here in my entrance door no more than two months ago and look at the battery level it's already red and uh, yeah the battery is already red uh, so that means that the only way to get two years out of the battery you have to choose the lowest resolution the worst uh, image quality and the least uh, uh, recording duration for example like a clip shouldn't be more than 10 seconds long so it's much better deal to get a wired one mm, anyways so yeah so the battery is very weak in less than two months which is a joke and uh, i'm going to be uh, changing all these cameras with a wired ones and let's get started okay the first thing you need to do is first of course you want to make sure you're in the same Wi-Fi network uh, as the camera the, the, the Wi-Fi network where you want the camera to be set up you make sure your phone is on that network and then you have to disarm the system disarm the system in order to add a device once the, ar the system is disarmed so you have to you know disarm it again if it failed to disarm you have to keep disarming it make sure it's disarmed then you click add choose the camera which is the mini camera now I have to plug in the camera wait for the blue light to blink and this to change to green now scan the back which network you want it home go to the home network and discover device join and you choose this password uh, this network and enter the password for your network after you enter the password hit return and join Sending Wi-Fi info to the camera, connecting to Blink server. Now the green light is blinking. It's updating the firmware on the little camera. The firmware of, you know, obviously needed to be updated. The firmware update I'm not a big fan of because sometimes the firmware update causes the camera to become 
you know, unusable, would become become a brick or something, if the f firmware update fails, failure to do so causes camera malfunction. So it's done, and blah blah blah. You can read that, and okay. So now this camera should be this guy, the new camera, which I haven't named it yet. Let's take a picture, and there it is. I took a picture. Now if I choose live view, I click on that, now it should give me live view. There. So close. Now you can rename this to whatever name you want to. For example, this name, you could, let's say, let's call it Front Window. Front Door Window. That's what I want to call it, Front Door Window. Uh, sensitivity medium clip length longer clips retrigger time 10 seconds so it should be retriggered very quickly and that's it motion recording night vision on actually no I'm gonna leave the night vision off because uh, this will be behind a window and the night vision LED will reflect from the window. That's why. Enable audio, speaker volume, chime volume, quality, I want the best, best quality. Flip video is for situations where the mounting is upside down. So if your camera stand is like on the roof, and the camera is upside down then you flip the video and everything seems to be good if you wanted to delete the camera but here is the save so I'm saving the camera and now we have to in order to add the camera I disarmed now I'm gonna arm them it might say cameras failed to arm uh, but don't worry, I don't know why that error message comes, but every time when I arm, it says fail to arm, but actually cameras are armed. So, see right now, it's armed. <laughs> it says fail to arm, but there it is, armed. So, yeah, so even here, I'm going to show you, prove it to you that it's armed, watch. See, motion detection in front door window, because I move my hand. Alright. Okay, so I hope this was easy and educational. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you haven't seen the other videos I made about Blink cameras, you may want to look into those as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.